<laughs> oh, I think I just lost it last minute right there. Yeah. Man. Check out that one, you guys. We got another. Something to, oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you guys, this feel holy crap. That. I mean, who am I to be complaining right now? You guys, I'm gonna hold this fish with two hands. Thank you. All right, let's see. I think we're gonna bump up to the five inch. We've got some six inch. Got some uh, some different colors up there. These guys that I've been throwing are called the uh, the bunker. So we've got the bunker, and then these little fellows right down here should be the mullets. Yeah, it's a little golden golden mullet. And these guys again, we got a couple of uh, different sizes of those guys to choose from. Coming down here, we've got the actual just a little the shad. Those guys. Uh, one of the first ones I was throwing as well. So we got a, quite a few to choose from. We got some different sizes so we can kind of get out here and uh, mix it up and just kind of see what it's going to take to uh, get these things down there so we can find some fish. Sun decided to show up. Let's see. So used to holding a uh, only smaller rods. 12 foot is a lot of rod. I'm trying to get this thing to uh, sink down right now. I'm not too sure uh, how deep it is. Let's see if this thing's got enough weight. Something to, oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you guys, this feels, I can see it right there. That is, maybe it looks like a nice big uh, black rock fish. All right, starting out, holy, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta go down there for that, I think so big. Oh, there we go, thank you water. Oh my God, you guys, that is probably, Oh, I can't even flip it with this rock. Get where I'm not gonna fall here. Come here, you. That is another monster. Holy crap. That. Good way. Start off. But we're gonna let this guy go because I can't be uh, keeping fish right off the bat. I don't want to uh, woo, be keeping fish as soon as I get here because I don't want them uh, sitting here for too long. Oh man, what a way to start out. Oh, there we go. It's going to mess with my camera. Oh my goodness. is oh my god we are finding the toads today come here Ooh. oh my goodness check out that one you guys we got another Nice big fatty. I uh, meant to, I brought my scale, but the battery is still dead. But we got some fat fish out here today. Let me get this guy back in the water. 
Oh man, that is too cool. Something trying to go after it. <laughs> Something's some is definitely following that. Oh, there we go. Oh, stay on. That. Oh, here comes a, that is another monster, you guys. Oh. Oh, come here. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez, Louise. Tightening that drag even more. This rod cannot handle flipping. Oh my god. Hey, get out of there. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That is probably going to be one, you guys, that uh, we will keep. Oh my God. Holy crap. Do not want to lose this fish. Oh! Alright you guys, I'm going to hold this fish with two hands because I do not want to lose it yet. I would usually release one like this. <laughs> that is by far the biggest one yet. Thank you for that fish. I have to keep you. I'm sorry. Oh my God. That is one of those fish that you remember forever. I cannot believe. That thing hit my line so many times too. And I had no clue that it was gonna be such a hog. And I had to have taken about five hits at my uh, little jig there. We have not found a small fish yet. I did, no, jeez. All right. Well, this might be the other benefit of having a long rod if I can get down here without falling. It's being able to uh, reach past this rock down there to get this, oh crap. That's this guy. Woo! There we go. So you gotta watch those waves though, man. Those things will uh, take you out in an instant. And if you guys are liking this video, please show me some love and hit that like button. Let's get back out on the water and uh, see if we can't find some more fish. Maybe get our limit today. It's slowly swimming it. All of a sudden we got hit. All right, now that's gonna be slick. Oof. This probably feels so far like the uh, least amount of fight. Oh. All right. Oh, geez. We lost him right here down on the rock. But you know what? That was definitely uh, the smallest out of them all so far. I decided to uh, just cast out and slowly uh, start retrieving it. But I do want to get off this rock because that's the one that just took on some waves. Basically doing what I just did where I cast it out and climbed up. Slowly start retrieving. There we go. There we go. All right, I like when a repeat works. We can keep this one on. We can uh, 
get up to a count of four. Oh goodness, I went a different way. Why'd I do that? There we go. Oh, it's nice and calm real quick. Okay. What do we got? It's gonna be, oh, there's a sea lion out there too. Oh, oh goodness, come here. That's a nice one, but still, I don't know if we're gonna find one, you guys. It's a, uh, jeez, come here. Such a long butt on this rod. I don't know if we're gonna find one that's gonna top that guy. Here's another one going back to get him in while the water's right there and I can get the heck out of here. Oh, that is awesome. Maybe I should just do that same thing. I'm gonna cast out really quick and get back into my spot. All right. Fish four through this long rod. I'm about 10 feet out in front of me. That is a huge, 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 huge advantage over uh, having that eight foot six rod that I'm usually fishing with. There's a big swell. There we go. Just turning my camera back on just to have some friggin' footage going. Something grabbed my line. Oh man, this wind. I'm really hoping this wind doesn't kill the audio. Oh, but get down here it's gonna be fish five if we can get it in oh. try and just crank it up another black rock fish oh. and you know, oh my god it is, oh geez let's, let's get up here a little ways oh. to get into the safety being up a little bit higher here. Oh, you turd. Oh, why you gotta make this hard, fish? All right. Let's get this thing off of here so I can get out of this spot. There we go. All right, that is another really nice fish. But uh, as mentioned, whew, we're not keeping these guys at the moment. Oh, right. Is that fish five? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is number five. I've haven't uh, had to swap this thing up yet. I do want to get a bigger one on there just so we can get down deeper, faster, and see if, uh, see if we can't find a monster lean cod. That would be nice. I feel like every time I uh, turn off my camera like this, when I would walk away and go get back into a new spot, and I just got my gear out in the water, end up getting a, a fish on. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting it a, a good chance to sink, and then all of a sudden there's action or uh, what, but there's definitely some fish over there. There we go, there's a hit, so we should have somebody following it. There we go. Oh, that's a problem, there we go. The problem with having this bow in the line like that is I think when I go to uh, kind of get my line tight, I'm, we got this weird, you almost could potentially uh, pull right out of the fish's mouth. Try and get down here between these waves again. Oh, it just took off right there. It did not. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is another PB size fish, guys. We are going to take it. Oh my God. You've got to be flipping kidding me today. This is on friggin' real. All right, let's get you off of there. Oh, there we go. All right, do not want to lose this guy either. To be able to have two flipping ginormous fish. Let's do this real quick. Oh man. Oh 
Let's see, I don't know if this day can get better, but uh, about to find out. Throw it in. Back to this little spot. All right, let's find another tank. There we go. There we go, guys. Oh shoot! Dropped my handle. There's a fish. Let's uh. Uh, do this again. Back up and over. Found that the uh, one of the best spots to get down. It's kind of right over here. Got something stable to stand on. All right. Oh, feels good. Not too bad. Too bad. I mean, these are all monsters. All right, let's get out of here. Oh goodness, just in time. Just in time, but a little late. Come on, holy! Getting soaked. Jeez, Louise, there we go. Man. There is another one, not worth uh, getting so wet over. Well, I am officially soaking friggin' wet now. But how about that consistency out there, guys? <laughs> how about that consistency? There's definitely, oh, seems to be a huge difference. That wind plays a huge role in what this thing is going to be doing. Nope, that was a tap. Even with that huge bow in my line, I could still feel that tap. There it is again. There we go. It is insane how much uh, that feeling can go all the way through your gear. Oh my goodness. But maybe this time I'm gonna try, let's just try bringing it up. Oh, that looks like another nice one though. That is a nice one. Oh my goodness. Got it. Oh, goodness. All right. I think we're gonna let this guy go. It's not an absolute toad. And like I said, I'm not trying to uh, keep everything out here. There you go, buddy. Thank you. This thing, this thing is absolutely getting worked today its eyeballs are missing this guy this guy is having some fun right now Here's this last bit of battery for this last cast oh that was, oh good timing that feels good too of course it's still way out there back here <laughs> black bass black rockfish that is dude I cannot believe the size of these fish is just absolutely whoo let's not do that to the rod well guys I'm always rough on my gear all right Back to the pliers. Throw myself right now. There we go. There's another 
nice one. Gonna be going back. All right. I think with that, I'm going to uh, swap out a battery and I was trying to uh, just take a little smoke break off camera really quick. Ugh. And we ended up getting a huge tugger back on. So let's see what this guy is. Oh man. Don't go over there, dude. Come over here. Oh my goodness. And again, you guys, sticking with the uh, program for the day. I haven't broke my rod yet. Oh, flipping these fish. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Alright, cool. What's up, buddy? You know what? I should probably put gloves on to do that because he sinks. Pretty, pretty brutal. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I said I wasn't going to keep fish. I know I've said that a couple times now, but there's no way I can't make this kind of a. Uh, my last haul before I go out and start targeting some uh, spring Chinook, but oh my God. Oh God. Oh, we were getting a hit already. go oh my god don't tell me that's i didn't just jinx myself did i that feels really good oh let's get this down there a little bit so you guys can see oh what do we got oh it is just another monster friggin black friggin bass black rockfish all right this is going to be kind of tough. I'm going to have to slide down this rock really quick. Ugh. See if we can get that fish back over here. Come over here, dude. Ugh. There we go. All right, I got to watch the waves real quick and just get out of here. All right, here they come. Ah. Holy crap. We might just take a limit. But monster fish today. It looks like what it's shaping up to be. Oh, oh my god. Not definitely uh whew, I couldn't have planned for a day this epic. Unless I actually did bring in the uh the right gear on the right day. Oh, right conditions. There we go. <laughs> what what is going on where are all of these monster friggin fish coming from all right we just got that thing cut off of there like i said i'm gonna swap out the line but i'm gonna use this exact same little uh jig in fact i can tell it's almost probably ready to uh rip out of this fish you can see that it's all bent up and that's because it's been bent out it's kind of reached it's a uh, elasticity maximum level there so uh, the last thing as i mentioned we want to do is go out there and hook a fish and have this line you can just feel down here it's really really rough so even if you're not catching fish if you're getting caught up on the rocks and all that uh, every so many casts run your fingers down your line kind of like i'm doing like right there and you're going to feel uh, if it's messed up at all any of the abrasions or things that are on there and please when you cut your leader off you guys do not discard it and just leave it this is a seagar 25 pound leader i'll use sometimes a 20 25 up to 30 pounds depending on where it is that uh i'm fishing again these little tools very convenient Slick. Ugh. All right, we might have a quick little minute. Get this fella in. 
What we got? Wacky. Ooh. All right. Well, you are a nice one, but you're still smaller than all your buddies. Hold on. There you go. All right, that is definitely the uh, smallest of the day. Ready? Oh, goodness. I would appreciate it if you'd stop turning on your own. All right. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Do I have it? There's a fish on there. No way. That feels like a lean. That's got some head shake to it. Those lings have a lot more of a head shake, but that was, it went away. So let's see. Oh my God. That, you guys, is another fat blackie. There you go. Oh my god yeah there is i can't believe this I try not to, oh, i'm on the i'm on the slick stuff he's barely barely on there uh, yeah oh my goodness now oh! this isn't the uh easiest place to maneuver especially now that uh oh yeah that just came right out see everything is wet from that big wave all right oh. Woo. all right camera let's uh needless to say i'm gonna go back over here to this same spot and see if we can't get one more fish uh, to just basically wrap up this trip. I think it's gonna happen. I'd probably put money on it unless things all of a sudden turn off around here. Let's make this happen. One more fish. I'm not letting that wave get me again. I don't even know if that, how much of that last catch was uh, on video. I don't know if you guys saw, I wasn't even, wasn't even paying attention. Wasn't even working my gear. It was just kind of getting pulled with the current. Oh, there we go. Really? All right guys, there's our last one. Maybe if I can, oh, why'd I go this way? All right, all right. Ugh. Get around that. That one's still down there a ways. Doesn't feel huge, but it's big. No, that's big. It just came up easy. It just came up easy. Oh! All right, we need to get this guy undone. Boom! You gotta be kidding me. He's a little bit smaller than some of his counterparts over there, but that is still a beastly fish. I think we are gonna just have to simply retire this fella after that. It has been quite a uh, busy day for it, and I would hate to uh, lose the one jig that went out there and uh, caught me a load of some of the nicest black rock fish I've ever caught in my life. All right, you guys, well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. We've got our six fish back here. I've got my limit. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the video description down below uh, for these different storm baits. Uh, today overall being by far the best day with them. In fact, I didn't even get a chance to cycle through and try some of these other baits. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button but until next time y'all best of luck to you guys and i hope to see you out on the water